Alright, so here we are at Slow Burns. We had the first part of Slow Burns, which is one of the coolest sections, I believe, in the shop. It's just a place where you come and relax, vibe, and enjoy yourself. Check out this setting. <laughs> Obviously, this is the chill room. You come here, you relax. You got my dudes over here enjoying themselves, watching a movie, eating some good old pork rinds over there. I see you, my brother. There it is. <laughs> enjoying a good cigar. Enjoy, my brothers. Bring on liquor. I think it's pretty cool. And here we have the other part of Slow Burns. This would be the main section. This is the main section. Um, you yeah, have one of the coolest dudes on the planet, if you ask me. King of the world, Mr. Stokey. I had to go get my Stokey outfit on. <laughs> What's up, family? Good. We even got people from Miami here, all right? <laughs> yeah, man, I was upstairs in the office having me. I was like, I just responded real quick. I'm like, yeah, we met right outside. Yep, yep, yep. All right, oh, got playing poker. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what's new. <laughs> Guys on the cigars, man. We over here drying out, man. We need to smoke 15 a day. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a big money table. This is the baller table. That's nice right there. Nice. Alright. Good to go. Let's go capture outside. He used to have like a, a, a bass strip. So what the bass was, what the bass was. So as you can see, they have the block party going on. And here at Slow Burn, they do it like nobody else does. This DMV cigar vibe is totally different from any other city I've been in. I think this is pretty cool. They got the fire pit out here. It's not that cold, but it's cold enough if you're from Miami. They got the fire pit going on. They got the food going on. The DJ's going on. You enjoying yourself? Everything good. I love Slow Burns. Beautiful people. Everybody enjoying themselves. Be more. Hey. They welcomed us with open arms. We are at Slow Burns with our good friends John and Al. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us here on the show. Thank you for coming. Man, let me tell you, the DMV is um, different. It's different. There's nothing like it. And I will tell you, I love it. I love it's a, it. It's a culture. It's a culture. It is. It's, it's not a lifestyle. It's a culture up here. So gentlemen, Let's speak to the world. Talk to us. Talk to us about this amazing cigar shop that you have. I love the vintage decor that you got going on. Um, man, there's a barbecue going on outside. There's a, there's a party. A block party. A block party. You got to get it on like that. Uh, talk to us about 
Mom's Buddy Shop. What's going on here at the Slow Burns Bar? Well, what do you want to know? How it started? How it? Yeah, how, 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 how we start? We had a jewelry store in. 1969, we started 69, and I had a small humidor in there around 2008, 2009, and uh, it did pretty well. Our lease ran up, it was going to be a little too pricey, so this building became available, and we had two extra rooms, so we decided to put a humidor, a small lounge, to see how it does, and it did pretty good. Not at first. You know, the jewelry store carried carried the cigar shop for a while. The recession hit. Gold prices went up. The jewelry store kind of flattened out. Yeah. So I said, let's turn this into a lounge and see what happens. And uh, I think it worked that for you. I was one of our first loyal customers. Okay, so you were a customer before you worked here. Yeah, I was the quiet guy that came in and bought a stick and sat in the lounge. And worked on my computer all day. <laughs> I was the mystery man. In fact, all right. when we started, Al was coming in. He was he wasn't buying a whole heck of a lot of stuff. Some tobacco, first pipe, a uh -huh. couple of drinks. Sat up here all day long. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, this guy's like taking advantage of us. Sitting in here all day. So I had another customer of mine watch him. Well he well he said it he'll watch him and see what's going on. He said, don't say nothing to him. Let him do what he's doing. He was on, on Facebook texting people, I'm a slow burn, I'm a slow burn, I'm a slow burn. And it just got busier and busier and busier. And then uh, what what happened with my mother, Brenda? Oh, we had a drunk guy that came in and decided he was going to cut 1964s in half and smoke. Oh, my God. Sacrilegious. And he got kind of loud and obnoxious. So she got a little worried. So I told her, don't worry about it. I'm going to hang around because she called you first. Right. So I said, don't worry about it. I got it. Right. And she's been mom ever since. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everybody calls her mom now. Nice. Yeah, I, I can't recall calling her by her name. She's always been mom. So, mom. yeah. Their customers, the Slow Burn Disciples. Yep. Bear, Bev, Rod. I'm probably forgetting about 30 other people. They might be pissed. Family, there's a family around here. They know who they it's are. More so a family than anything else. Everybody watches out for everybody. Um, I say, people sick, everybody reach out. Um, support. I mean, that's most important. Um, nothing goes on around here that you need to be worried about. Everybody's got each other's back covered.